welcome back to the next arc in the iron bar series so we finally got the dreams Arc crossbow from next leaving only the 12 legs left for full completion the zarya crossbow is a massive upgrade for next but it should also make my other boss goals easier such as hydra corporal beast and armadillo last episode i wanted to prepare to return to those other bosses to test the ccb and resume those grinds but there were a few long overdue items that I wanted to get to make those grinds even better. I got the fishing barrel for Corp and the Vow Boots for Hydra, last video. This video will cover the final item goal, which is Ring of the Gods, the best prayer slot ring in the game from Videon. Once the ring is obtained, I can finally test the CZB at all those places mentioned. So let's start the ring grind. If you are enjoying the next arc and looking forward to the hidden power of the CZB, video coming up, make sure to let me know by liking this video and subscribing to not miss out on future videos. This grind is definitely one of the worst grinds just because Vedion is one of the most camped spots in the wilderness, so oftentimes you will be interrupted by PKers. The boss fight is straightforward though as you just lure and safe spot him. The safe spot method I use is the one shown now which relies on luring the boss to the southwest part of its spawn point and relying on the highlighted two squares to attack the boss. You also have to kill the skeletal dogs that spawn twice per fight. And because the boss and the minions are undead, using the south amulet is highly highly recommended. So for this method to work, you need to properly attack the boss at the right tiles the right number of times. So the left tile you have to hit the boss once, immediately you go to the right tile and then you hit the boss twice. And then you would go back to left tile and start over. Now what happens if you accidentally hit too many times on the tile? Like three times, like I did. Well, the boss will move uh, over and then the safe spot's ruined. So there's one way to fix it. The easiest way I found is just to go behind the tree to the east and I'll pull it farther enough away so that you can relore it. Easy fix behind the tree. That's how we do it, boys. So you guys might want to try this boss but don't have a Vigorous Mace, which is the best here. So what are some other alternatives? Um, the easiest to get for sure is probably the Cudgel for normal counts. You can buy that for under a mil probably. And probably the most realistic is Samrak and Hasta for most Iron Mans and mains. It's pretty affordable, very good here on Crush. Bludgeon, quite a bit pricier for a little bit better than the Hasta. And yeah, that's about it. I mean, there's also Inquisitor's Maze, but out of reach for most people. Oh, Sanfru Serum. Okay, I should probably bank that. What the hell? I shouldn't be surprised. I guess they've always been like stupidly expensive. Holy shit, hit me for 30? God damn, these guys whooped me. What the hell, Dranstone? Okay. That's an actual Vedion drop then. Oh, uh, what the heck? Okay, good. That's gonna be a secret grind coming up for that, you know, with those. I, I want a lot of those, actually, so. <laughs> oh, damn. Ran our weed. Oh, my God. <sighs> Jesus, 100 of these, 700k. I don't want you guys to know I'm in the wilderness. So, I will lie. Alright, let's see how many charges I use for one kill. We're at uh, 1053. I think last time I did this check uh, before it was uh, 50 or something. So let's see. This includes obviously killing the Hellhounds as well. Let's have a check here. Alright, 53, so 47. 47 charges for that kill. Let's uh, check out another kill. Alright, this one definitely took more charges, so... 67? How many charges this time? Uh, we were at 938 to 877. Yeah, 61. I think we're looking at an average of 60 charges for a kill, yeah. Shout out Rice Vance. Alright, 1400 at their bracelets, haha. <laughs> Oof, that is um, 250 shards each, right? That's probably at least 4 kills a bracelet, I think, so... Yeah, if we just do a rough math, that's 5600 Vedion kills, so I'm pretty sure I'll get the Ring of the Gods way before 
So I got all the rough weapons and stuff uh, during a older grind in the series. So if you missed it, I can put the video link up uh, in this video right here at this part. But yeah, it was quite different back then when revs were um, locked down by uh, P care clans and stuff. So, oh, what the hell, dude? Yo, are you serious? I actually got a skeleton champion scroll while doing this. All right, so let's see. How many champ scrolls do I got? No, this is a... Oh, no, I already have one of those. Dang. The mane is a pivotal part of most men's looks and confidence. However, hair loss is a very common phenomenon that happens to most adults, male, by the age of 35. As a male in my 20s, it is apparent that my hair has thinned a lot over the years too. But what if it is possible to keep our hair? Luckily, hair loss prevention exists and Keeps is the premium hair prevention service. The Keeps subscription service includes connecting you with a certified doctor who will tailor and send the right prescription every three months to your doorstep. You also have 24-7 access to your Keeps doctor to address any questions and concerns. Check out some of these testimonials from Keeps customers. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to Keeps.com slash or click the link in the description. That's K E E P S dot com slash rice cup. Thanks for listening. Back to the progress. So, when you are setting up Vedion and you are going from the west tile all the way to the east tile, Vedion will hit you at some point during the fight. And usually it's at the start. So, it's either one of three things it could be electricity, which is dodgeable. Quake, which isn't dodgeable, and then there's the melee attack, which can be negated completely if you have prey melee. So at the start of every um, setting up into attacking the boss, always prey melee. So that way you can save some damage. 200 KC. Okay, we're uh, two fits of the way to the draw right, goddamn. This is such a slow boss, but nah, not really. Compared to some other bosses, it's not that bad. So let's talk about some statistics with the Vidian grind. Uh, you probably want to know how many kills an hour am I getting? It definitely varies quite a bit because some days you will just get uh, bombarded with PKs every 10 minutes or something. Other days I've gone sometimes even an hour without a PK. And this is all like super late uh, in the day where most people are sleeping. Under perfect conditions, I can get about four kills every 10 minutes which theoretically would be about 24 kills, but under a very good hour, um, it's probably somewhere between 15 to 20 kills an hour. And on a bad hour, it's probably gonna, gonna be 10 to 15 because yeah, bad hour implies a lot of PKs. And this is with Figur's mate. So if you don't have that using Hasta, you're definitely gonna have to subtract a few kills per hour from mine. And the worlds that I typically use are definitely the 2K the 2.2k total worlds and sometimes the pvp uh, worlds as well that isn't high risk what dragon two-handed sword okay holy shit i just two shot that freaking hellhound dude so at Vedion, there are some standard setups that people bring but the question is which setup is better between things like proselyte black dehyde and uh, good old monk ropes. They're very affordable to use, so all three are cheap to bring. But which one is the most useful? In my opinion, from my experience so far, it's definitely Black Dehyde because Black Dehyde gives you a chance to splash uh, the peak hair's teleblock and ice barrage, which will basically be the difference between you getting away and you having an increasingly high risk of dying. So if you get full TB, for example, chance of you escaping peak hair is very very low especially if they have really strong gear so i've been able to escape a ton of p carries just because black dehyde uh, made them splash or uh, with combination with uh, protect from mage i get half tbs so i can tank enough just to teleport out but a full tb would be deadly i survived with uh four brutes nice oh my god are you serious what the f is the dogs so in a situation where you're attacking video but you're not doing damage that's because 
the dogs are out somewhere. And it's most likely in the other safe spot. The other safe spot is on the far east side, um, where the Chaos Dwarf is. That's another popular safe spot, but I don't usually use that one. Oh, god damn it, dude. That's annoying. There, I got it. Hey. <laughs> If you see like a really goofy looking peak hair that doesn't seem to be taking themselves seriously, actually you gotta be careful because that's probably gonna be a big team coming up. They're gonna log in and just yeah overwhelm you. So even if they do look like scrubs, if they are scrolled up and it's hitting you, chances are you're probably gonna get piled. So just tell you away. Oh, is that a peak hair? Yeah, that is a peak hair. Frick. Yes, teleport. Oh, it's an ancient magic peak hair. 300 KC! 300! 300! 300! God, over halfway to the rate, boys. Oh god! Oh my god! We have the gods! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Holy shit! I, dude, that was the fastest. That was the fastest pickup reaction of all time. Yo, holy shit, I picked it up so fast. You know, you hear the stories, people getting pets and then instantly getting PK and losing it. I just imagine, right, like right then and there. My last two deaths uh, here has all been groups of people just piling on me. I just like die almost in an instant, so you can't mess with that. <sighs> Ooh. Oh man, oh man. Well, no more, uh, no more wilderness stuff for a long, long time, I tell you guys. Jeez, this is crazy how how expensive this thing is. 23.8. I mean, it's useful for sure. A lot of it's just due to how annoying it is to kill the boss. Honestly, I gotta kill this boss at like, I'm not gonna lie, 4 in the morning. Alright. I need to get some points to actually imbue this ring, so... Let's go do it. I'm gonna go crazy, you know? Crazy with my setups here. Uh, range melee hybrid. Full sweat. Oh, actually, uh, for example, this guy? Super weak to uh, Tebow, so yeah. So I actually enjoy this. The once in a while where I gotta get some points, because you get to use all your weapons that you've accumulated over a long period of time. And yeah, just go to town. Just go to town, man. Look at that. I'm pretty sure the Tebow will shred this guy. Yeah, there we go. Stop. Okay. Definitely don't have this stupid ass boss. I forgot. This is literally dad troll, but 20 times worse. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy, I guess. But yeah, 20 minutes, and I've already gained 665k points. So, as I was saying, let's imbue the Ring of the Gods. So, here's Ring of the Gods. Look at that prayer bonus, man. Plus 8. And you also get the Holy Wrench effect. Which, if I'm not using it in my mask cape or have it on me, then uh, yeah, it will also give me that effect. Now, the ring I used to use for prayer was definitely the Ring of Suffering, so it is double that. And you get the passive Holy Wrench effect. So my previous setup had only 12 prayer bonus, which meant that with Rigor and Protection prayer on, I would lose a prayer point every 1.4 seconds. But with these two items now, the Ring of the Gods, Imbued, and the Vow Boots, at 21 prayer bonus, it's 1.4 seconds before my prayer point drains. So that's really sizable. It'll stack up a lot over time. So I got to save as much prayer and supplies as I can. So this is definitely worth around the long, 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 long haul. Because I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of Hydra, I imagine, for this pet. So of course, these items won't just be only used for a Hydra. It should be really good at plenty of other situations in the future. So prayer related. Holy shit, look at this cannon go, man. First time using it in-game. Boom, dude, it's got like that little glowy effect. Next, Hydra. Now, oh, we got it. Ha, ah, that was so easy, yo. Let's go, man. All right, let's go. I got to do a trip of this tonight, you know? It's like, I don't care. I, I want to have some fun. Damn, look at my skills from um, getting my blowpipe back. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to add like... Yeah, I'll add a 16k. Damn, it's barely dented it. Barely.
We're, we're good, man. We're good, guys. Oof, so good. So I won't be showcasing the Zarya crossbow at Hydra just because I wanted to showcase my prayer gear that I've recently worked my ass off to get at Hydra and highlight those first. Uh, I forgot to bring Bone Crusher Necklace. I think I can literally just put it on right before the boss dies and uh, it'll bury the bones and give me some free prayer back. I don't intend on banking the bones, you know, like no point for me. Let's see what six prayer pots, if it can last me like an hour or so. I have enough pots for basically about an hour, so. All right. All right, I'm going to put on the Bone Crusher. Oh, it worked. Sweet. It buried my bones automatically. I used to have a cooldown, so I didn't bring it in the past, but now there's no cooldown, so it's really nice. I also gained eight prayer points back. Oh, man, this necklace is so nice. I hate having to pick up the bones all the time and burying it. Whoa, 83. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> That's really strong. So with this setup, with Amethyst Arrows, I can hit up to 83. So that is my max. If I switched off any of my range strength gear, like my cape uh, or my vamp races, then it's going to go down to 80. So it's that big of a difference. Um, whereas Strand Arrows, it would be 86. So yeah, this setup gives me max hits with Amethyst Arrow while maintaining max prayer bonus. Really don't notice much of a difference accuracy. There you go. 124. Look at that. You know how I got a 114? I had to like bring claws and all that crazy stuff for the Grandmaster test. So to be able to do a 124 really proves that, yeah, that extra accuracy that I'm missing for Iron ain't doing jack. Damn, one hour Hydra. Uh, I made like three mil. Nice, three mil. And all I used was a few Amethyst Arrows and like five Prayer Pots and like three Range Pots Divine. So yeah, very cheap. And no unique items, just straight up 3 mil, you know? Just 3 mil. Damn, 120 with this set? No thralls, no nothing, you know? Not even max accuracy. That's only 6 seconds off my, P my PB with like sweaty gear. Alright, so... This setup is actually uh, monstrously sweaty compared to what I normally do. So I'm gonna explain a few things. So, uh, Ruby Bolts... I don't need Dragon Bolts because uh, with the spec, it's the same accuracy and the same damage. And that's all I'm using it for, for the most part. So no need to waste my Dragon Bolts. The Zarya Crossbow will still kick ass. So we're going to spec the boss uh, when it's you know fairly high HP so we can get the most out of it. And also some extra runes and the uh, Book of the Dead and different runes. So I have Thralls with me and Death Recharge because Death Recharge is going to get my spec back so I can spec more often. Um, it's gonna take up some more space, but that's okay. And uh, you might be wondering, what about your Alks? It's okay. I, I have Explorer's Ring, so I can do this for at least like a good hour or two. Uh, 30 Alks will last a while. So, oh, CC member, join my CC if you want. Hey, look, I have a spec bag. I can almost spec once every kill, basically. This recharge, the Zarya Crossbow spec can be used almost every kill. And the best time to use it is definitely during electricity phase because that's the phase where you'll most likely miss some ticks due to having to try to stop the electricity from hitting you or you make a mistake and electricity hits you for like a 20. Otherwise, you can just use it at any point in the fight, preferably when it still has a lot of HP. Oh, damn, the Thrall did some work there. You saw that? It, it skipped the phase for me. Jesus, look Look at all these kills, man. They've been like 120, 130. So consistent. Ruby Bolt spec for the lighting skip. Nice. I gotta say, Hydra is now so much more bearable to do. Like, I, I can actually enjoy this. Before, it was just so simple. You just T-bow spam the whole thing. Barely any brain cells required. Now, I get to switch between the Zarya Crossbow specs to speed up certain phases like electricity i also have you know the ring of the gods and the devout boots to upkeep my prayer bonus comfortably while also using my thralls to do extra damage and spec restore like wow this this is such a fun method it's not perfect yet i'm still trying to figure out you know how to really maintain like my food supply and stuff like that while using this setup but yeah i'll be doing a lot more tasks and in the next video, it should be the full testing video with the Zarya Crossbow. 
I'll give you guys my final conclusions with it at Hydra, uh, Armadale, Corporal Beast, you know, next. So, yeah, the next video should be the secret or hidden power of the Zarya Crossbow. So, if you're looking forward to it, definitely make sure to check out the next video. And there is the Hydra task done.